Hello, my name is Sean. I'm an implementation specialist at Evolve Mechanical, and today I'll be going over the points tool. First thing we look at is our point settings. In here, we have our origin for our points. We have internal origin, project base point, and then survey point. If you select survey point, you are allowed to choose which survey point you are going to use if you have multiple in your project. From there, we have our export options. We have the ability to append origin selection to the file name, append date to the file name, or the time to the file name. Using True North, that'll be for if your project is slightly rotated due to architectural setup. Include DWG background. This will export a DWG so you can load that into your total station tablet. Include link points. That includes the link points that are in your links. Use custom ITM hangar description. That will allow you to change the hangar description in your ITM hangers. Out of the box, it will pull in the name of the hangar. So if you want to shorten that up and just call it ITM hangar or trapeze hangar or whatever you would like, you can do that. Same for use ITM custom hangar or layer. That will change the layer, which is the service out of the box. You can change it to anything that you like. So we're just gonna leave those alone for now and go on to placing points. To place a single point, you're just going to go to create points. Out of the box, we have a few different options here, center line, control point, layout point, as well as our different sleeve points. I'm just gonna create a layout point. Your starting number, you can just put it in the number that you wanna start with. If you have duplicates, it will tell you when you place the point and it'll move on to the next point number. Point layer. In here, you put the point layer for exporting to your Trimble, as well as point description. These are just populated by yourself. You can put anything you want in there. Point placement, we have the option for single point as well as grid point. Grid point will allow you to place multiple points along one intersecting grid line. So for now, we're just gonna place one point. As you can see, it will lock or align to any parts in here. You could do the corner of duct in this case, or just on this grid line. Now I'll show you the other option, which is grid point. So grid point, we're going to do an offset value of one foot and then select all four corners. And now it will place four different points along that grid line, one foot from the center. So when you're looking at ITM hangers, you'll see that they don't have the typical point that you're used to seeing, but in fact, they still do have points late in them. You'll see that it has the H1 and H2 for each side of that hanger. And here is that description I discussed earlier. If you'd like to change that from that um, 24 by 12 EA half strap, you can change that to any text that you would like or different parameters. Same thing for this layer. You could change that from exhaust air to a different layer if you would like. To export these points, we're just going to select all of these, go to Evolve Mechanical, go to our point manager, select all of them that we want to export. In this case, it's all the ones that I've currently selected. We do have the option to do the entire project, current view, or current selection. And we're going to use this export points button. When you do that, you'll pick your point name so we're just going to call it point export and save we have the ability to export a csv as well as a trimble tfl file so we're just going to export a csv and as it's exporting it's also going to create that dwg file as well so that is your trimble point